Hello everyone, so this is a follow-on video from uh, creating our 2D character into uh, preparing it for animation. So what I mean by that is giving it a bone structure. Um, yeah, essentially we're going to rig our character, what we call rigging anyway, using a skeleton, so we're going to give it some form. Um, to do this, uh, we're going to um, use open tunes. Uh, open tunes. The reason being is that it's available for Mac and PC. Um, we will look at some other software as well, but this is going to be the one we're going to use just for sort of rigging and probably uh, making animations that we can then export and collate together in another program, um, which is essentially what we would have done all in Flash had we been using paid software. Um, but I'm looking for free alternatives that you can work around. So in this program, in this one, like I said, we're just going to rig it. Um, you probably will want to watch this video a couple of times through because it's going to be, um, it's probably fairly heavy going. It's going to be one of these ones that you're going to have to keep pausing the video to make sure you sort of, uh, follow along, but it is uh, going to be super useful by the end of it. So I've just had a play around myself. I'm starting to get used to the program a little bit. I've never used it before today, so I'm learning it for you guys. So what I'm going to do is make a new scene. Um, yeah, I'll just save wherever I was. Um, what I want to do... Uh, bah, 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 bah. Okay, let's have a look. Um, so, actually, let's recreate what it looked like for you guys. Okay, so if I open Open Tunes... Um, open Tunes? I keep calling it Tunes, I apologise. If I open Open Tunes... Um, this will fire up. Eventually, there you go. Okay, so let's recreate what you guys are going to get. <clears throat> so, um, first and foremost, obviously, what projects am I currently working on? Where do I want to create that project? So you can set your folder route up where you want everything to be saving to. Normally, that's a bit larger. You'd actually be able to see that. There you go. Um, but if any of you are familiar with 3D, it creates similar. It creates folders for everything for you on your on your hard drive for you. Um, I'm just going to let it save automatically in the location it chooses. Um, I will um, make the folder. Sorry. I will then. Um, I'm going to save mine on. I always save mine on my hard drive on my USB. This is where I've got all my files that I'm going to import. I'm just going to call this uh, rigged. Actually, I'm going to call it man underscore rigged to keep our naming conventions. Um, and at the moment, let's have a look. We're working at dots per inch. Obviously, we've covered it as 120. That's quite fine. 72 would be fine for screen. Uh, I can turn on auto save. That's always a good feature to have. Show and start up's fine. Um, 19, 20, 10, 80. I might give myself some more height. Um, it doesn't matter, but this is essentially the canvas size. So if we were creating sort of the animation, this is the size it would come in at. Um, yeah, I know this is a bit of a random size, but I'm going to go with 19, 20 by 12, 80. Um, and then once I'm happy, frame rate 24 frames per second. As we know, that's the, the f um, this film pace of so 24 frames passing in front of the projector within a second to create fluid motion so I'm just going to hit create scene and here's my interface okay quite intimidating probably if you never used it before but we're slowly going to get used to it in this first tutorial so I'm going to navigate to my file where I have saved all of my information at the moment I'm going to ignore the blinks I'm not too worried at this stage I can always animate those on afterwards if I want to but for this uh, as we have it now, I'm just going to bring in his feet, head, arms, legs, uh, his torso, upper arms, lower legs. Okay, so just all these body parts. And what I do is highlight them and I'm going to drag them in. Uh, it'll ask me, it doesn't belong in the current project. Basically, it's not saved in the same project file. That's fine. Uh, it already exists. What do you want to do? Uh, you probably won't get that, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, I've dragged all my parts in. The reason I don't drag in one um, overall person that's already finished is because it wouldn't be able to rig it properly. It wouldn't understand what it was doing. Okay, It wouldn't know how to apply the skeleton to the character. Um, this is why you have to bring the character in 
as limbs rather than one finished completed character that's been a question I've already been asked you can't bring it in as a solid finished character because it won't know how to manipulate each of the joints it won't know how to move it um, after effects is something called the puppet tool which you can kind of work around and do something similar to that but for, for these examples this is not uh, possible so um, essentially what we're going to do is reposition all these body parts uh, and we're going to um, yeah, we're going to reposition all these body parts and we're going to rig them together. We're going to create something called an IK chain, which means that when you move the hand, the whole arms move. This is something I like to normally demonstrate in person. But um, if you imagine when you move your hand out to the right, your lower arm and your upper arm will go with the hand. The hand just doesn't go on its own and none of the rest of your body goes with it. So you're creating like an IK chain. Um, we're going to create something like that so that when we move the foot, the whole of the leg will move with it and so on. OK, we also call this parent and child. So if you imagine um, the hand is the child and the lower arm is the parent. So they hold hands when they walk out on the road so that wherever the parent goes, the child goes or wherever the child goes, the parent goes. They're attached. So they're holding hands, essentially. So we call it parent and child. Um, and you'll see what that means in a minute. Now, our layers are here. So everything that I've named has come in. Um, you can see layer one, we're on frame one. These are all our animated frames at the moment. Everything else is going to be blank because I don't have any animation. I've only got one frame of animation at the moment. I'm not worried because I'm not animating yet. I'm just rigging, which means giving a, a bone structure. Now you can move these around if you want. You can sort of click and drag them. Um, so, ba -ba -ba -ba. oh, that's interesting. My character from before is already still in here. Um, so, ba, 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 or not, I just wondered if the parts were still here. So, um, <clears throat> let's have a look. I would restructure all this, I mean, that, so that the right pieces are on top and the right pieces at the bottom, um, but we'll do that shortly, okay? It'll be a case of making sure anything that's got B on it, like that back, is at this end because. Uh, the nearer to the left, it's at the bottom of the pile, essentially. So anything uh, you want to hide uh, behind the torso should go underneath the torso on the left of it. And anything you want above the torso will go on the right. And the reason I'm talking about the torso is because it's going to be the main part. It's the bit we hide things above and behind. So like, for example, the head should be behind the torso because we want the neck to hide behind it. But if we think about, let's see if that's the, the front arm, obviously is going to sit on top of the torso. Um, you'll see what all this means in a minute, but you can see, and um, we could, we'll start to move it around in a minute, I'll show you how. Um, we'll use the move tool and so on, but I'm just going to structure mine quickly. So, the uh, that's the back arm, so that can stay behind. I want the front foot. Okay, that's fine. You see, that doesn't really matter too much where that goes, the torso, but I'm going to put it the other side of the torso because... Uh, actually tell a lie uh, I want the top of the leg if we can if we consider the fact that the front leg let's find it so there it is the upper front leg if I bought that on the right side of the torso it would mean the top of the leg would be visible on top of the torso which we obviously don't want uh, so if I make sure it's above the foot because you'll see why in a sec when I bring the lower leg in which I think is this part yep so let's just move that there. So basically the foot should be below the lower leg um, because we don't want the sock. You'll see what I mean by this in a minute, okay? But what we're first gonna do is we're gonna come to this animation tab. So don't worry too much if you didn't do any of that. I'm gonna double click on the word stage schematic. And any of you that are familiar with um, node-based um, node based programming, node-based uh, texturing or anything like that, would be familiar with this setup here okay so we're just holding middle mouse button down to move it across now at the moment everything is connected to the table now what I want these names are going to be confusing but you can see man torso that I want everything connected to the torso okay so I want all of these parts are going to be connected to the torso the torso is going to be the main structure like where the spine of the skeleton is in real life so we're going to connect everything there before they do that, though, I'm going to right click, choose new peg bar, uh, and I'm actually going to connect the torso to something called a peg bar. So essentially, this is going to be our controller. So if I want to move the whole character, 
uh, rather than just a part of the character I'm going to be able to click on this and then drag the character and it'll move all of its limbs the whole body from left to right or whatever so if I want to move the character around the screen now obviously everything's connected to the table at the moment I don't really want that I only want the peg to be connected to the table now the way I do that is I click on this blue icon here and you can see I start to get a line come out if I drag that to the red of the torso you can see that table is now connected to peg and torso theoretically is now connected to peg that's it so table should be connected to peg I apologize do that in reverse so I want to drag I want to take the object I want to connect so I clicked from torso I clicked the blue of torso and dragged it to the red of peg so that's the torso okay the next part I'm going to look for is the head so da, 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 that would be around here somewhere so man lower arm man head okay so let's stretch it above I'm going to connect these nodes together so I'm going to say this is a child of this parent I want so whenever the torso moves the head will move the way I do that is drag from the blue to the red and you can see that line going to tables disappeared and now it only has one line and it's connected to the head so whenever I move the torso sorry the head will move with the torso torso is the key to this whole uh, body okay so now let's think about the arms so I'm going to want some upper arms okay so upper arm front I'm going to say is the left uh, his left arm so if we imagine this as a person it's going to stick his left arm out here but I'm going to put it on the right hand side so drag that to there so I've got that should be the upper arm then I want to find his front lower arm so that's not that front lower arm so man lower arm front perfect click from the blue to the red the line to table disappears and now those are all connected excellent so I've got torso it's a bit like the uh, skeleton song the upper bones connected to the torso you get it but the uh, I will promise I won't see again the upper arm lower arm excellent so let's look for his other arm his back arm okay so that was lower back arm Excellent. So I'll just place that there for now. It's still connected to the table, I know, but I'll remember that in a minute. Man, upper arm front. That's interesting. So that means I've balls it up here, doesn't it? Upper leg. Brilliant. You lot probably spotted that and I didn't. Um, so I definitely don't want that to be connected anymore. Uh, I will move this in a minute. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So genius that I am. Man, upper arm F. So let's connect that in hopefully you didn't make that mistake you'll see in a minute we'll just reconnect all this up which is fine man upper arm b so let's bring that to there and remember you've got to connect them so blue to red blue to red so now the lower arm let's just hover over to make sure i've definitely got this right lower arm back upper arm back torso upper arm front lower arm front head torso brilliant what an idiot I was before. Huh. So we're going to say the front leg is the left leg, which obviously goes on the right hand side. But if you imagine his left leg is facing us. So lower leg, obviously it's going to go here. This should be the upper leg front, which is great. As fate would have it, I'm very lucky. The upper leg front should be connected to the torso, so I haven't needed to undo that. This is still connected to the table, so I would need to connect that there. Let's see what we've got here. Man's foot front. So we will want to then connect this. So I've got his upper leg, his lower leg, and his foot on that side. Then I will want his man's foot back from there. I've got his, don't need the camera obviously. I've got his lower leg and his, that should be upper leg. Excellent, so now I will connect those. One, two, three nice and tidy okay so you can see only one line now comes to the table that's the peg once i click on the peg i can move the whole object you'll see what that means in a minute but these nodes all connect the bones together so that in a minute when we add the skeleton everything's going to connect properly so to get back double click on the word stage schematic here we are again notice if i click on peg there's my move tool i can click and move the whole character around excellent so let's show you how to move stuff around so i've rigged everything as i as i wanted to but now i've got to arrange it because obviously i don't want his body all on top of one another the way i can do that 
so you can see column one obviously if I particularly really wanted to rename all the columns and so on I, I could do that but I'm happy with these column one okay so I have got the man's lower leg back so column one if I make sure that this is selected the animate tool I'm able to move column one and what you should notice is that anything that's attached to it comes with it so because column one which is his back leg upper everything that's attached there from below it which you should see is the lower leg and the foot has moved with it but when I click on those individually so the lower down the chain it is I'm actually then able to move those separately you see but if I click on them individually you see they move together clever so with that in mind obviously I want to work my way down the chain because if I move the foot like I have done there and then I move the lower leg as soon as I move the lower leg the foot's going to go with it if that makes sense so you can either select each of the columns this way each of the parts as they correspond on here and we may need to move these around to make sure certain things are on top of each other that's what I was talking about at the start but let's try and get him some shape together now so the torso let's say we're happy where the torso is it's also important as we do this uh, we're going to position it all but whilst we position it we're going to move the pivot points okay what I mean by the pivot point is how this rotates so that's all your options are here under position so if I were to rotate the torso at the moment it rotates the whole character but a torso wouldn't really move like that okay so what I will do is I will move the center of the torso I'm going to twist on the hips. I'm going to move that pivot point right down to where sort of his hips are here. Okay, that was under center. Okay, now let's click on some other things. So let's have a look at right. Change this back to position. Let's move some pieces around. So this is his back lower leg. Let's make sure that's selected. I've got position. So he's back back lower leg like we spoke about so his lower leg is going to come down here his upper leg his back upper leg I'm just going to drag that so it's a bit neater his back lower leg um, watch what happens now actually this is exactly what I was talking about if I once I drag this down because these are connected by bones it's going to move everything for me so I've got to consider that so that's fine now if I click on this one drag that up perfect I'm going to move the whole character up, so I'm just going to come into here, into my pie, so I can move the whole character. There you go, then I've got enough space on the canvas. So let's click on his lower leg again, let's just click off, have a quick look. Uh, how's that looking? Not too bad, but obviously the problem we've got at the moment is his back shoe, which is this one, his back foot, is actually on top of the leg so what we need to do remember is drag it all the way to the left and there you go it's moved it underneath okay so that's better this is his back leg at the moment now like we spoke about each part we need to move the rotation point the center so let's think about this I've got the foot at the moment let's think about how that would bend how would the foot bend so it bends from the ankle bone so I'm going to move the pivot point to the ankle bone okay so we need to know a little bit about human body for this the next part okay so the lower leg if you move your lower leg hopefully you're moving it now you'll remember that it's moved by the knee so we would need to move that to around the kneecap so I'm going to move that pivot point to there okay now just let me quickly demonstrate what that does so rotation what you should see hopefully is about to happen is now I rotate it's going to rotate from here rather than rotating from the middle and it's also going to move the foot with it because I set up this IK chain here I set up this schematic so that when this moves the child of this parent is the foot which moves with it so watch there you go so we can move our foot excellent so it's the start of our walk cycle okay let's move this back to center let's move so he moves from the hip because the hips power the top of the leg okay so now let's just test that as well so this should move the whole leg obviously it's going to move in a straight line unless I've bent the bottom bit but yeah so there you go some dexterity to his leg happy days move that back to center let's think about the top of his arm here okay so remember we're, we're going to work on um, 
if I move the the top oops I shouldn't change that center I should change that to position so if I move his upper arm his lower arm is going to move too as we know so let's select his lower arm move it below it select and remove that I'm quite happy with that okay so I'm pressing I'm holding control and zooming in with my mouse button it's not too bad something like that it's not perfect by any stretch actually that upper one uh, so his upper arm probably could do a scaling up a little bit actually but look a bit or I could do with moving his lower arm up so I could either scale the upper arm but then I'd have to worry about the bottom one so let's try and get that to where it looks a little bit more seamless okay so that's not too bad I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to come here click on the upper arm <coughs> actually before I do that let's change the um, sorry two seconds I need to jump onto discord two seconds Okay, sorry about that. Just let's jump on Discord then. Right, so let's move the uh, let's move the center. Uh, so your elbow controls how the lower arm bends. Uh, and then, oops. Then let's click on the upper arm, and obviously your shoulder controls how the upper arm bends. So let's just have a look how that works. Let's rotate that. Very nice. That's going to work great for us. Let's click on the bottom part. Yeah, I mean, I haven't drawn that wonderfully well at all. In fact, I could probably erase some of that if I wanted to, but we'll worry about that later. But if you did want to do that, you can use your erase tool like that. Put, 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 put an erase part of the um, object you've drawn. That's not quite erased that much. But you see, so it's not quite as sharp then. Um, I can change the size, hardness, opacity, and all that jazz. But... Um, Let's just have a look at the rotation. I might erase some of the back there. Okay, I'm going to pretend this was part of the tutorial that I intended. Uh -huh. Just tidies it up a little bit then. Um, right, so let's rotate that back. Let's click on the upper arm. Let's rotate that back to where it's supposed to be. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually rotate this up a little bit. So you can see the back arm when I put it behind the character. That'll be important in a minute. So let's change that to position. Um, change it over. Oh, sorry, I'm bringing on Discord again. Two seconds. Apologies, everyone. I am back from my Discord call uh, somewhat later. Not that you would have noticed the difference in time, but I have now forgotten where I was. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, yes, we're still organizing this body, weren't we? So, let's have a look now at uh, his upper arm back. Um, so, if I were to move his upper arm out into here, I want to move the center again. So, it works the same as the front of the body. I'm moving the center up to his shoulder. Then, let's focus on his lower arm, which is here. Let's move this rotation up to here. Let's move the position down to here. Good, good. That seems to have exported better randomly than the other one. So let's grab the top of the arm again. That's weird because that should be above there. Excellent. And you can um, rotate that back. So we're getting this kind of pose. Let's move his head. Uh, so position. Uh, and obviously the rotation point for his head should be the neck. And here the position would obviously be there. Okay, starting to come together. So if I rotate, it gives this like yeah, 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 nodding sort of look. Uh, we want the front foot now because we've we've posed the back foot. I think that's the only bit I can see that's still missing. Let's just have a look underneath his torso. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Right, so we've got there's that foot. So let's take his back leg. Let's move the position. Obviously, everything comes with it because I chose the top of the chain. 
let's uh, move the centerpiece okay that's good move the lower leg don't want to move the center of the lower leg yet sorry I want to move the position a bit to about there move his foot to about there I can move the center to his ankle so it pivots I can also move that to kneecap and ensure that's at hip so now if I drag that into position like so okay now what I might do just for now is rotate these away from each other just uh, to the extreme so just because it will make the bones I'm about to make clearer it doesn't actually change anything necessarily but you'll just be able to see the bone structure I'm about to make a bit clearer so obviously he's in like a bit of a walking pose now anyway um, but if I really exaggerate his pose I've now got uh, a character whose bones are all set up correctly uh, and I'm just going to come down right, let's He's looking good. I don't actually want his arm selected. I'm going to uh, click here, hold shift, click here. It didn't work as I thought it would. So let's click here, shift, click here. There you go, everything's selected. Whoops, clicked off my layer, click back on. Uh, hopefully, this is going to work as I want it to. So let's choose expand toolbar. There's my skeleton tool, and if I've set everything up correctly, I should have. Uh, right, so I've got build skeleton. I can change it to animate, so I've got points. Um, so if I were then to click on a point, for example, um, should in theory let me rotate. Let's have a look. This IK chain. No rest down with an IK chain. So if I come into the move tool rotate um sorry let's go back to skeleton okay so i've got my k okay chain there let's just change that to skeleton see what those do okay so if i then hmm why is that not letting me move i thought no, there we go whoops <laughs> don't want to move him like that I want to move that one there you go so I can you can see the IK chain so I'm moving the lower arm which also moves the upper arm Whoop. so I can pop it out of joint not that I want to do that but I can move that to a position so here I can also click on whoops click on that joint there click over the point whoops so what I'm actually doing by clicking that I've just noticed is telling my telling for some reason it's telling the uh, the character that that's the center point that everything rotates around so I want it to actually be the center of the torso so now that's better so I'm not getting that weird um, rotation so if I uh, wanted to move his arm down a bit it's a bit fiddly but uh, let's click whoops I'll click there uh, let's do that you can see we've oh, I've got to stop clicking on it. This force a habit. So oh, done it again. So hover over the bone, right? <laughs> rotate. Glad I'm having fun here. Essentially, I've made bones that way. Or you can click and hover over each point. So I've changed it back to animate just because the IK was going a bit crazy. Uh, and you can see that I can then animate based on his body so I can move those which I don't really want to but I can move his foot this is all based on the points that we laid down earlier move his head move his back arm whoops um, let's just whoops make sure I've got the right point selected so move his lower arm back and let's try for his upper arm for example his back arm so this is better I'm in animate this seems to work a little bit better um, bear in mind this is the first time I've ever done this so I'm learning along with you 
Um, So it's quite nice. So we can essentially pose the character wherever we want, which is exactly what we're going to do when we come to make our walk cycles. We're going to make something called a frame by frame animation, which essentially means we're going to set the character in a pose. Uh, and essentially the principle works that we'll take a picture really. So the computer takes a picture for us um, and you will, uh, and then you'll move it on one frame, move it a little bit. So we're thinking like a Wallace and Gromit sort of thing, move it a fraction and then uh, take a picture, move it a fraction, take a picture, and, and you get the point. Okay, so, oops, I will, um, I'll keep just sort of moving it along. So you can really, uh, that's cool, so I've told it that is the center point. But yeah, let's move his head forward a little bit, tipping forward, he looks like a man on a mission walking along now. Okay, so I could theoretically move that still as well which is quite nice move his head down like that okay so that essentially is a rigged character ready to animate so now what we would do and what we're going to go on and do in the next tutorial uh, is animate each and every single frame so we've posed him in this frame and the next frame we'll pose him on um, we're going to be looking at Richard Williams's um, book that I've made available to you all, uh, the PDF, I'll show you where you can buy it, uh, but where you can also um, download the PDF that I've shared. Um, but essentially, we're going to look at some, some imagery from that, where we're going to look at walk cycles um, and how the professionals do them at sort of Disney and things like that, but how we're going to create a realistic walk cycle like the one I showed you at the start of the last tutorial, okay? So like I say, this is quite a full-on tutorial, lots to sort of remember, especially when we talk about um, when we have to come into like node-based rigging and so on, but if you've followed along, which hopefully you have, you've got a fully articulated, ready-to-animate character that hopefully looks like your character from your reference, uh, and yeah, basically it's ready to move around, so... I would recommend, I mean, IK chains are good. I use those in 3D, but I would recommend animate. Oh, there you go, the auto saves kicked in. Uh, I would recommend animate um, as a tool from what I've just learned, basically. That was the one I preferred out of the two. Uh, and yeah, basically, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, any questions, any feedback, post them to me via Discord or email or whatever. Thanks very much. Bye.